Hi everyone, welcome to my new YouTube channel and my first video. Thanks for being here. Um, basically, this channel is just going to be all about me um, putting up tutorials of games that I invent. So I invent a lot of dice games, as my friends uh, have known and enjoyed over the years. Um, so anyways, this video is a game I invented called uh, Bowling Dice. And just like in real bowling, we're going to play 10 frames. Uh, and just like in real bowling, you can have up to two throws per frame and up to three throws in the 10th frame. We're going to be playing me versus you, so I wish you good luck. I'm going to be yellow and I'm going to make you green. What you need for this game is uh, either a pencil and paper and then knowledge of how to score in bowling or this free app. Um, I'll post a link to the iOS version of it uh, in the description. This app is, is great and it's free and it's, it's handy dandy. The other thing you'll need is a dice cup and 10 six-sided dice or this free app, which I will also link uh, the iOS version of. It's great. It, you can have um, uh, anywhere from one up to 21 six-sided dice. So we need 10 because in this game, um, the dice represent the pins. There's also other things in the settings that you can do if you want. So... Um, the, the object of this game is to obviously get the high score by knocking down the most pins, and the way you do that is by making your dice into seven, at least on the first round. So, here we go. Here's our first roll. So I can make seven this way, six and one. I can also make seven this way, five and two, and then I've got a four and three. Now the other thing I can do here, um, because I'm sitting on a six right now, uh, that's how many pins I'm able to knock over. If you take a look at this four and two, well that makes six. So if I wanted to, I could swap that out and go that way. And that would give me a seven instead of a six on my first ball. Okay. Now on your second ball of each frame, the rules change. And um, I'm just going to put these in the hopper to reserve them as I'm talking. Uh, the rules change and you can still make sevens, but there's another rule called pairs for spares. So if you have two of a kind, three of a kind, four of a kind, so on and so forth, you can knock down pins that way too. What you're not able to do though is use, um, you're not able to use a die more than once. Once you put it in a group, it's done. So for example, let's say this four was actually a one, you would not be able to say I can make seven over here and I can make seven over here. Okay, so here comes my second ball. And I don't have seven anywhere, but I do have a pair. So in my first frame, I had seven on the first ball and two on the second ball. All right, your turn. Here we go. Now, as I'm working here, I'm going to tell you that uh, if you're an avid bowler, um, you probably would know that a 150 is not a great score. Okay, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do it that way because you want to be really careful um, not to leave one die by itself. For example, this five could be replaced by the three, two, but if I had the five by itself, then I know I'm getting a zero or a gutter ball on my second ball because I don't have anything to match it to make seven. And I obviously can't make a pair with one die. So anyways, you bowlers know that 150 is not a great score. Um, depending on, on how skilled you are. In this game, 150 is the highest score I've ever achieved, and I've played this game dozens, maybe hundreds of times. Um, so, but the, you know, if you're playing with other people, uh, it's all relative because there's competitive balance. But since it's a game of chance, you know, you're not going to throw as many strikes and spares as you might if you were at a real alley. Okay, so you guys have an eight on your first ball. And now we're looking for seven or pair, which we did not get. So that would be a gutter. Into frame two. I'll play a couple of frames here. I think for the most part, um, after you kind of get it, you get it. So I'm not going to play the entire game. Um, but it looks like six is the best I can do. And then on my second ball, no sevens, but a pair. So six and two. Okay, no closed frames yet. Gets more exciting when there's some closed ones. All right, when you don't see any ones, you know you're sunk with your sixes, at least on the first ball. Four, three, four, three, five, two. Um, but if I wanted to, I could pull out the five and go three, two, because that would be a replacement. Um, some people say that having four dice left on your second roll is better than three. 
because you have more options maybe to make pairs and things like that. Um, especially if I'm coming off of a spare, which I know you guys are not. Whoops. Which I know you guys are not, but I always try to get the highest number on my first ball if I'm coming off a spare because it basically doubles that number if you're familiar with how to score. So we're going to go with the 7. And... Oh, so this would be the scenario where you cannot say, I've got a 7 here and I've got a 7 here. So you either have a 7 or you have a pair. Either way, it's a 2. So your score is 7 and 2. Okay, let's get some closed frames here and get some action. I've found that, um, you know, along with my highest score of 150 and a handful of games in the 140s, um, uh, a score of just over 100 is pretty average. Okay, there's my eight. Now, come on. Oh, man. All right. So there's another gutter ball. Your turn. Six, one, five, two, four, three, four, three. Come on now. Let's close this, guys. Ooh, man. Dice are not falling today. Or the pins, I should say. Okay, we've got a six, one. This will be my last frame here. I mean, I'll finish the game after the video is done. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but you guys don't need to sit through it. Okay, now you could go here, right? And say, I've got seven, yes. But look at this. I've got seven over here, and I've got a pairs for spares. <laughs> so six and spare. I'm on a roll now, according to the app. And here's your final frame that I'm going to play in the tutorial. We've got a six and a one. Six and a one. You know what? This is close because, again, you could go seven here, but you really don't want to do that. So what can we do? Seven, seven, hold on, hold on. All right, so I'm going to pull out a six and go four, two. So the four, one, two makes seven. Then I still have my six, one, and my four, three in there. I think that's the best I can do. Nope, I can pull out the two and go one, one. There we go. Okay, so again, my seven is here, six and one. Then I've got four and three, right? And then four, five, six, seven. So there's an eight and another gutter ball. All right, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, uh, hopefully the first of many. As of right now, I think I'm winning uh, because it hasn't given me my fourth frame score yet because it's pending since I'm closed. But uh, I will finish this game and I will uh, post the results in case anyone is interested. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me. Do all the things all the other YouTubers ask you to do when it comes to their channel. And you guys, take care.